Hey, Mr. Sands, we're just about done with these podcasts. Yay! Yeah, so, hey, we have that word. Stoichiometry. We are going to do stoichiometry and gas laws. We're going to wait, combine. Wait, wait, pause. Okay, okay, I think they're done groaning now. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you think your need, guys, is your calculator? Yep. This is like the math portion and of the chapter. And you should also get well, out your... it's already been mathematical. That's true. Yeah. yeah, you should also get out your mole map. Mole map. Yep, yep, yeah. We're going to do some stoichiometry. We're going to combine mm -hmm. it with gas laws. So, hey, let's get going. Hey, gas laws and stoichiometry. All right. The problem that we've been uh, dealing with is whenever we've like done math with gases, we yeah. use that cool number, 22.4 mm -hmm. liters in one mole. And yeah. that works great if you're at STP. Most places aren't at STP. And you know where we live? It's never at yeah, STP. Never. Yeah, if never. you live like in Boston in the wintertime, you might be at STP. But we're never here but at STP. No. no. Our pressure's we, too low. We have low pressure. so We get the temperature right. So we have a problem. So yeah. standard temperature pressure, as you recall, is zero Celsius, one atmosphere. And you could use that 22.4, but uh, only if you're at that temperature and that pressure, which is just not going to happen very often. very often. So there's two ways to solve these problems. Okay. You can, A, number one, do some stoic, and then do pivnert. Okay. Or B, or, do pivnert, and then do stoic. It sort of depends on the question. You'll right. see. It's just very it simple. It depends on what you're PV starting with. equals NRT is your, is your equation. You're going to use this like over and over. We've done this before. We have. And now we're going to mix it with stoic. Yeah. Now, if you look in PV equals NRT, what's the one thing in PV equals NRT that's common to what we've been doing in stoichiometry? That's N, moles. Yeah. Stoichiometry always boils down to moles. So we're going to use the N part of stoichiometry of with it. our... With the ideal gas law, you mean? Yeah. Right, of the ideal gas law, right, for stoichiometry. stoichiometry. So, so we're just going to, we're just going well, we're going to do a couple of examples, Mr. Sanders. All righty. Hey, we have a problem okay. sitting in front of us. So, hey, potassium chlorate. Mm -hmm. All right, we got to, I don't have, like, the formula of this. No, so, we should probably write that down. Potassium, right? as you recall, potassium K. is K. We're going to put the charge game, is mm -hmm. positive. Chlorate is a polyatomic ion. Look at yep. the back of your periodic table. CLO3. CLO3, and the charge is negative Minus one. one. That's an O. All right, um, decomposes into oxygen gas. Actually, KClO3, so we'll write KClO3. Why did I write 1K and 1ClO3? Because plus 1 minus 1, they and adds up to 0. And it decomposes, so that's just a single arrow. And it makes oxygen gas. Oxygen's a little tricky. O2, O2. Brinkelhoff. And it makes potassium chloride. Now, chloride is Cl negative 1. Mm -hmm. And that's going to mix with potassium. So KCl. So that's KCl. Now, that's an unbalanced equation. It it's is. Unbalanced. I have an O problem. I have yep. two O's here and three O's here. So I'm going to do the sixth thing. Right? I need to put three here to get six and two here. Messes up my potassiums and my chloride, so I put a two here. The yeah. end. So start with a balanced equation. Okay. So now, so what do we know? When we have three and a quarter grams of potassium chloride, that's 3.25 grams. Write down what you know underneath what you know. Mm -hmm. uh, decomposes uh, at 610 Tor. Now, we're measuring the gas. The gas here is oxygen. Mm -hmm. And so this pressure is 610 torr. We have a temperature. We have 34 a temperature. Celsius. Temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. And it's asking what is the volume, the volume of the oxygen gas. Hmm. So We have almost enough stuff to use if PV equals NRT. We, we the, need N. Though. The one thing we're missing is N, but we can get that By from stoich stoichiometry. So I'm going to take this three and a quarter grams and convert to moles of oxygen gas. So watch what I do. I'll say 3.25 grams of KClO3 over one. Now don't tell me you know the molar mass of potassium chloride off the top of your head. 22.5, Mr. Sam. What? Grams of KClO3. Holy cow. Grief. One mole You're a freak of, of nature. KClO3. If Should you add that. K plus Cl plus three O's, it adds up to 122.5. Doesn't everybody know that? They no. do now. <laughs> they do now. Mr. Bergman knows it. Um, how did we get that? We added K plus CL plus 3 O's. I did that in my head yeah. as I was sitting here talking. <laughs> Not Liar. really. I just said it memorized. It. All right. And then the moles of, or the grams of KClO3 cancels. And now I need to put the moles Mole ratio. of KClO3 to the moles of oxygen gas. And there are three moles of O2 from the three in the balanced equation and uh -huh. two balanced equation here. Okay. All right, so that gives me the moles. So we got some math. We got uh, 0.0398. Moles. Good. Moles. Now. Now. Put that in. That's in. So in. Well, that's just equal to in. Yeah. So we're going to do uh, PV equals NRT. And we're going to solve for V. Right. And we have now, to do a little bit we have of an issue here. Pressure yeah. is 610. We'll just divide that by 760, right, to get uh -huh. our atmosphere point something. Point 0.803. 803. The ATMs, 
And temperature will add 273, and we get uh, 307. 307. And so now I'm going to plug my numbers in. I'll do that down here, I think. So the pressure is 0 0.803. That's P. That's a P. V is my X equals N. N is 0 0.0398 times R. R remember that's our constant, 0 0.0821. And my temperature is 307. Simply divide everything by 0 0.803. And you get V. And you get V. And you get V to be what? 1.25 liters. liters. Liters of oxygen gas. So you'll produce in this reaction this many liters of oxygen gas. All right. Notice what we did is we did some stoichiometry first. That was this part down here. And then we plugged it into the ideal gas law. Well, let's do it in the backwards way, Mr. Sanders. Okay. So let's do